Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Octopath Traveler. I am your host, Melee Wizard, and I went ahead and grabbed that one treasure chest up there, and it ended up being a Scourge Lance, which A, I already have, and B, it was not much of a, not, not really an improvement. Anyway, let's see, uh, let's see what this notebook is actually relevant for. What a useless book. And to think I wasted all that precious time looking for it. Well, if it isn't the little girl from earlier. Don't tell me. You came to get the notebook back. Yeah! I thought I told you to forget about it. Hm. I'm not going to forget about and forget something so important to me. <laughs> important, you say? How much do you know about this notebook exactly? Um. And also, who wrote this book? Where did he or she come from? Is. Ignorance is bliss, little girl. Trust me. But... Even if I don't know, it's still important to me. It's been with me on my whole journey. It... Ugh. Save me the sob story, kid. You can have it back. It's useless to me anyway. And because you're so attached to it, <laughs> I'll even let you take it to your grave. The fact is, you've been nothing but a thorn in my side, so I'm going to nip you in the bud. What? I think the thorn here is you, lady. You stole my notebook, and now you're going to return it and let me walk away. And before I leave, let me give you a word of advice. Don't underestimate the power of this merchant. <laughs> you have no idea who you're dealing with, kid. Alright then. How about you? Uh... I shall cleave you in two. Yes, good. <laughs> Ow. What to do? That ability doesn't get around. Oh, I can I can't do regular attacks. Ooh. I am so scared. Uh Okay, that that the rest didn't get rid of that. All right, fine. Uh, how about bows? No. Bow is a no. I'm ready. Though I'm, I'm starting to think I should have switched Tressa to cleric, maybe. Ow. Rise again and again. Uh, Let my arrow fly in true. Uh okay. Um dagger? No. Now then, my blade is unbending! 
I wreak havoc upon thee. If this, uh, if Let this, uh, if this ends in failure, A, I'm gonna switch Tressa to Cleric, and B, I'm gonna put in that skill Ulbrick has that goes over quad nines. Uh... Cowering before the Huntress. I am ready. Fires a no. <laughs> what to do? I summon the Felton, the great merchant. What next? You know what? Using this. How about you? I shall cleave you in two! I am ready. I don't think I... Did I try ice? Okay. So the three regular elements are a no. Not that it matters now, anyway. Ow. Okay. I have a. I am ready. Uh, oh, don't mind me. Wind, of course. Coming if thou What did that say? If I don't act fast, what? Uh... How about you? Maybe I had to break her before that ran out. Makes some sense, I guess. I wreak havoc upon thee. I am ready. Right, yeah, I buffed her damage, right. Okay. Ow. Uh. Rise again and again. What to do? Battle is truly joy. You shall be healed. Let my arrow fly in true. A small blade has a steel. Ha ha! I am ready. Uh... Okay. It's ice now. Here we go. 
Oh dear. Yeah, I am. I definitely needed a. I need a cleric for these boss fights. Unable to use physical skills. I see. Uh. Honestly, I should have had her healing. Uh. Break you now. What to do? Take care of that. Let my arrow fly in true. Using this. What to do? I wreak havoc upon thee! Letting my arrow fly in true. Uh, Using this. Heal. Healing is needed. Be in my Okay. All right, what's what's next? I am ready. Flames, burn this away. But since you're weak to spears right now, and I have two people that could use that. Oh, that was harder than it probably than it probably should have been, but ooh, a rune knife. I'll have to see. I'm guessing that's probably big on uh, elemental attack. But we'll see. No, beaten by a little girl. <laughs> I told you not to underestimate me. I'll take this. Why would you go through so much trouble for a stupid book? It's just an old diary. You see... You don't get it. This book is... I came here by sheer willpower alone. I hoped I'd find something to help make my dreams come true. Something precious I'd treasure forever. <gasps> my treasure. That's right. Tressa. Tressa, are you okay? Yes. Fine, thanks. And you? See for yourself. Damn that boy. Aha. 
I heard he was a wanted criminal, so I handed him over to the guards. You really saved the day, Ollie. By the way. Well, that's to be seen. Did you get your book back? Yeah. It sounds like the showcase is starting. Here we are. This is the Kismet doll. Kismet trees are among the rarest in the realm. They're known for bringing good fortune in marriage. This doll was made from the trunk of that tree. Alongside it comes a legend. The one who holds the doll will meet their soulmate. Why, I? A real Kismet doll. I never thought I'd see one with mine own two eyes. Whoa! First the snowdrop gown, and then the niece tiara, and now this? I don't know how Mr. Wyndham decides. <laughs> I wish I had his problems. Instead, some of us have to sell our souls just for a chance at that prize money. Now then. I wonder what'll catch Mr. Wyndham's fancy this year. Just listen to that crowd. <laughs> Hope you're not nervous. It's almost your turn. You only, you've only got one chance to win the judge's favor. Did you polish up your eld right? Well, I... I'm not entering the eld right. What? You can't be serious. I am. What's the matter? But why? <laughs> the Eldrite is rare and beautiful, of course. But... I want to offer something my customer desires. I want to give them something they can truly treasure. That's the kind of merchant I want to be. Actually... There's something I want to give to Noah. Something I think she could truly treasure. Well, well. Then I can't wait to see what you've got up your sleeve, Tressa. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be disappointed. Now then. Well, you better hurry. It's bad manners to keep your customers waiting. Oh, okay. Tressa. Are you nervous? Because you look it. I've never done anything like this before. Not in front of so many people. Then let me give you a tip from one who's spent her fair share of time on stage. Just imagine everyone is a fish. A fish? Yes, you, the audience, everyone. A fish. And the hall is a vast ocean. Out in the ocean with so many fish swimming around, no one cares about any particular fish. Especially a teensy little minnow like yourself. Wait, what do you mean teensy? Anyway, that's what I do when I'm on stage. I imagine myself as a fish, swimming in the endless sea. Fish, huh? Well, I'll give it a try. Thank you, Primrose. Anytime, dear. Now break a leg. Or a fin. I, everyone has their own way of dealing with stage fright, I suppose. Tressa Colzion. This way, please. Tressa. Good luck out there. Thanks. I 
And now, for our next entrant, Tressa Goltzion! Tressa? A kid? Here's hoping she won't disappoint. Hello. My name is Tressa, and I'm a traveling merchant. Today, I brought something very special to me. An anonymous notebook. I grew up in a small port town as the daughter of two merchants. Sometimes I gaze out at the ocean and think to myself, what do I really want to do? What do I really want in life? And then I came across this notebook. It was written by someone whose name I don't know. Someone who traveled across the world and wrote down everything about their journey. I decided then and there that I wanted to go on a journey too. So I left home. I wanted to explore the world as a merchant and learn the trade as I went. And along the way, I met some unforgettable people. In a mining town, I met another merchant around my age. His words had the power to touch people's hearts and make them happy. It was like magic. <laughs> After I moved on to the next town, I ran into an old acquaintance. He was the captain of a merchant ship, and the one who originally gave me the book. There, he taught me something very important. He told me that there could only be one truly precious treasure in someone's life. So I searched and searched until I finally found it. What's truly precious to me is this journey. I've written all about it here in these pages. I can tell you for a fact that there are countless wonderful things out there waiting to be discovered. And just like this nameless traveler allowed me to realize my dreams, I hope that my travels can help someone realize their own. Which is why I want to give you this book. Noah. Tressa. Who would want something so useless? It's not shiny, who cares? Does she have any idea where she is? In all my years, I've never seen something so embarrassing. Oh, someone get her off the stage! Tressa! I'll take it. Huh? Did he just... Is he serious? Mr. Wyndham, sir. Pardon me, but... Are you absolutely certain? Yes. I don't go back on my word. Now, please, bring me that diary. I would like to present it to my daughter.
Now then. My apologies for asking, sir, but... Why did you choose this diary? You see, my daughter... Tressa! Noah! The fact is... I wanted to help her see the world as best as I could, so I bought her the greatest treasures of the realm. But I could tell it was never enough. However, when this young merchant stepped onto the stage and spoke of her travels, that was the first time Noah ever said she wanted something. <gasps> to tell you the truth? When I heard about your journey, Tressa, it felt like I was traveling the world with you. My heart never wanted the story to end. I am most grateful. Young lady, I can't thank you enough. I hope this will suffice for your diary. <gasps> I... I can't accept all that money. What? What? Are you a merchant or not? This is a fair trade, Tressa. You see... My customer has something she can treasure forever. That's more than enough reward for me. However... I understand your sentiments, but I can't let you go without recompense. Mm. Okay. It's too much for me to handle now, but maybe I'll need it down the road someday. I'd like to save it for then. Very well. Understood. I'll prepare a memorandum. If you're ever in need of it, please do not hesitate to let us know. Can't thank you enough. Um... Tressa? If you don't mind, I... I'd like to hear more about your journey. And I'd love to tell you all about it. At Noah's behest, Tressa spoke of her travels across the realm. She recounted every tale, one by one, with a fond smile. made up my mind, Tressa. I want to travel the world on my own two feet. Just like you did. Noah. Thank you so much. I'll treasure this notebook forever, Tressa. And someday, I'll write my own stories in here. About my own journey. I want to be the first to read it. Indeed. I promise you will be. Fair and well, are ye? Excuse me, young lady. I must say, you put on quite a show there. Thanks. <laughs> I suppose I should introduce myself. I dedicated many years of my life to creating something. Something that became a precious treasure to you. Huh? You mean... you made that notebook? The fact is... Mm-hmm. The writer was someone else, though. I gave it to him a good ten years ago. Went by the name Graham Crossford. You don't say. Graham Crossford. So he's the one whose travels I've been reading about. 
Yeah. That's right. That man saved my life. He was just about to head off on a journey. He didn't know where his travels would take him. So I told him he ought to keep a record of where he'd been. I spent 40 odd years making notebooks. But there wasn't anyone else's journey I wanted to hear about as much as his. Writing in a diary comes from the heart. And there was no one with a heart as great as his. When you spoke about your own travels, I thought I saw some of him in you. It was like you were in love with that notebook. Well then. If you ever meet Graham, could you tell him something for me? I've got another diary of him, for, for him, just waiting to be filled. So what are you going to do now? Huh. I think I'll go back home. I've experienced so many things on this journey. It was filled with so many moments that can't be contained in a diary. I traveled and traded across the land and met amazing people along the way. And when I stood on that stage, I realized... I did what I set out to do. to tell my parents that. I can't wait to see the look on their faces. Home, huh? How about you, Ollie? It's probably time for me to head home, too. My father is waiting for me. Finally, saved up enough money for him to open up shop again. So, who's the better merchant between you two? I'd like to think I am. Hey, Tressa? Yeah? Next time we meet? We'll see who's the better merchant, right? <sighs> Wrong. Next time, I hope you're a little more refined. What? See, you're like a sky star. One that could use a bit more polishing. Tressa. Now then. My journey isn't over yet. I'll be there soon. was how I met Tressa. She gave me this diary to fill with my own memories. I know that somewhere out there, she's bringing happiness to others just as she did to me. And someday, I hope to follow in her footsteps. Noah Wyndham. And we're back home again. 
Um, before I end up, let me see. How is that dagger? Uh, yeah, that's that's kind of what I thought it would be, give it, given the name. Uh, how does that compare? Two forty two. Oh, the Ruglave is even stronger than that on Elemental's tank. Uh, I presume that just talking to them won't do a heck of a lot. Hello. No. Hey there. Oh well. All right then. So that's another another chapter done. So, I guess join me next time when we head for Everhold and see. All ah, right, Primrose's thing was finding the head of the crow, and you know, chop it off. So, until then, this is Melee Wizard, and have a nice day.